Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Gemini for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberate, leave it and check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see Gemini reading for week ahead. And if you don't already know, then I'm a Gemini son myself. So hey, Gemini. <laughs> and I'm always very excited to read for Gemini, you know. Love being a gem, totally. Give me a message for gems, please. Give me a message for my gems a week ahead so we have the divine timing along with positivity this is beautiful also bottom of the deck is being enough gemini let me read out the cards for you so this says the divine brings things in the timing that we need nothing comes before we are prepared nor leaves too early may i always trust your perfect and holy timing dear lord so if you have been asking from universe as to when is something going to happen in your life then you need to realize that everything happens at the most perfect time and in the most perfect way. So some of you, maybe you are asking for a job, you're asking for a money, you're asking for a raise, you're asking for a promotion or whatever. And you have been working on it for some time and you're like, where is my abundance or where is my love offer and whatnot. So the card is basically asking you to have patience because everything happens at the most perfect time. When you are ready for it, when you are an energetic match to it, when you have enough knowledge and expertise to handle that thing, that thing is automatically going to show up in your life, right? So if something is not happening yet, then the reason is that you are quite not prepared for it energetically and you have some more learning to do. So be patient with the process. Do not um, do this negative self-talk and further lower your energy because the more you do it, the farther the goal is going to get away from you. So practice gratitude and show your appreciation and um, gratitude that every day you are learning and you're getting towards your goal so that is number one also if you feel like somebody uh, maybe has left your life uh, you are in no contact period or whatever and if you think that why that person did this to me and why that person left and all of that we should have spent some more time and all of that then the card is asking you that nobody leaves before they are destined to so if somebody has left that is probably because their time in your life is over or maybe you feel that it is over but it is not yet right because nobody is going to leave your life before it's their time so if this person is meant to be in your life and you guys are not speaking to each other then it could just be that you have some learning to do and both of you need to grow and evolve in your life so that you can come back together stronger all right so you need to uh, keep this in mind that divine timing is at play in your life right now and whatever is happening is happening for your highest good also, we have the card of positivity, which says if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to the light. Isn't this the same thing that I was telling? You need to find things to be grateful for. Practice gratitude that with every passing day, you are actually moving towards your goal, right? So the more you practice gratitude, the better. Please, dear God, let all, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing, even in the hardest of situation. So right now, if you're feeling all over the place and you're not able to feel grateful, and you are feeling like something is missing and all of that. So you need to practice some gratitude um, and that is going to push you towards um, this goal of yours even faster, all right? So that's that. I see that you have a lot to be grateful for in your life, but you're just not paying attention. And obviously when we go through a tough time, we feel like we are not enough and all of that. So that's what exactly the card at the bottom is also saying that you are enough and you have everything that it takes um, in your life and you're like totally worthy it's just a matter of time that you need to do some more learning so that you can achieve your goals all right so yeah that was a very beautiful message so far now let us see your present energy gemini give me some general message for gemini for week ahead ace of sword wow a new beginning some of you you're also hoping um for maybe conquering a situation there could be a competitive situation around you where you kind of need to be uh, winning and all of that so ace of sword is guaranteeing that for you so if you are facing some sort of competition in your life right now you are not only going to face it very bravely but you're also going to be very victorious at it so uh, trust yourself trust the divine timing everything is working in your favor 
and bottom of the deck is page of pentacle if you also have been looking for a new way of making money so page of pentacle is showing a good news and ace of sword is showing a news again so a good news is coming in really quick i see next one month could be very prominent when it comes to your money and stability all right so yeah if you have been jobless or you're looking for some sort of hike and all of that so i see a good news is coming in some of you also are also experiencing a surge of creativity and you want to try new things so do not stop yourself from doing that ace of sword is asking you to take a leap of faith to whatever you want to do and you're going to be very victorious in it so trust yourself and move forward with all the courage and things are going to happen for you all right so give me some love messages for gemini what is happening in gemini's love life knight of sword who is this idiot that you're dealing with you're definitely dealing with somebody who has a lot of passion for you but this person is very in and out of your life so sometimes they are like all over your place all over your place all over you this person shows like they have a lot of passion for you a lot of emotions um some of you guys person wants to screw you <laughs> uh you know the sex is really good and all of that knight of sword is a very passionate energy but when it comes to commitment this person is very slow at it so somebody is very in and out of your life and they have been giving you major panic attacks some of you this is what the divine timing is talking about you are looking for a commitment from this person and they are taking forever and now you are like having a hard time trusting the whole situation so yeah somebody is giving you major panic attacks major anxiety you feel like this person is never going to give you the commitment and they are here only for the sex or they are here only for fun times so yeah like somebody is pretty inconsistent they come and go as they please okay what is this person's energy towards gemini please what is this person's intentions and feelings for gemini moon card confused bitch you're dealing with somebody who doesn't like this person okay gemini let me tell you something you are confused because you think this person does not know what they want from their life and you are kind of pissed at them as well this bitch does not know like in reality this person does not know whoever you're dealing with they are very confused some of you 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 might be dealing with two different people or this person acts like two different bitches you know somebody is having a multiple personality disorder here like sometimes they are all in they are all over you but then the other times they are like this spoon card they don't know somebody is confused as hell and this mutual cooperation is missing you want this person to show up consistently consistently in your life and the consistency is missing all right give me some more energy about this connection of gemini and this person please two of sword they are not making a decision about you they are not making a decision about you some of you this person wants you to stay stuck on them they think that if you if they will prolong the decision you will stay stuck on them they know they, that you have feelings for them definitely here this person is confused they don't know what they want from their life confused idiot wasting your time the high priestess they might also be doing things behind your back but the good thing here is that you know everything you know this person's business they think that they are very smart and they come and go out of your life as they please and and you don't know you know everything gemini the high priestess you know this person's truth and i see more truth is going to be revealed here with the moon card and the high priestess i see you will get to know something about this person very confused in and out individual that you're dealing with right now cannot make up their mind do not know what they want from life they have a lot of passion like when they show up in your life they 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 show to you that yes i am here and we are going to make it happen but then they ghost you ooh gemini <laughs> what the fuck are you dealing with what is this person's next action towards gemini hanged man still not making the decision still trying to keep things up in the air queen of pentacles though this person is very much aware that you are very stable and very ambitious some of you this person is also scared because you are doing better than them in in life financially stability wise some of you you are more mature than them and they know it so your stability and all of that kind of scares them they think that you are too good to be true for them 
they want this situation to move but they are scared let me put it out like that they want to make a move all right their action towards you the hanged man because right now i see you guys are not speaking they want the situation to change the wheel of fortune is that they want it to change very quickly but then i also see this person knows that you are too good for them like they think why will you put up with their bs and why would you put up with somebody who's so toxic this person knows that they are a toxic bitch and you know that what else some of you this person also knows that you're moving away from them you are surrendering queen of wands they are attracted to you some of you this person is very sexually attracted to you like this person they 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 are attracted yes some of you maybe you were friends with benefit like you started off like that and then the emotions came into place both of you have emotions i'm not telling that it's only you but you are still more mature and this person is still in that friends with benefit fun kind of energy so they want to still keep it very casual with you you know they they are in this energy of having fun you want commitment now now you are like if you want commitment then let's talk otherwise bye but this person is like but you're really good but the sex is really good why can't we take it like that somebody is still in the very fun mode you know this person finds you very attractive very irresistible actually some of you you, you this person might have told you things like you know you have a very good body and all of that you have a sexy figure you have a sex appeal something like that all right because you see knight of swords and queen of wands this is this person's intentions towards you they find you very sexy very beautiful this person also know that you're very creative and they think that you're too good for too good to be true for them ha huh, okay what is going to be the outcome here between gemini and this person please lovers wow <laughs> there is that some of you this is the soul soul mate soul mate <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> strength card exactly okay let me let me tell you what you first are going to be revealed to something more so you i see that you already know a lot about this person whatever they are they're trying to do behind your back this inconsistent behavior this narcissistic attitude that they are showing to you you are completely aware of everything however i see that there is this soulmate connection present here with the lovers in the strength card you start off very casually with this person gemini during the course of time both of you picked up feelings you are more mature than them is what i see you are the one now looking for commitment this person is still in this fun and you know games mode however i see down the line there is going to be a commitment here that is why the divine timing is asking you to have trust and be positive and you know this is also something when things going go wrong we try to focus only on the negative and then what happens is you manifest all the negativity back tenfold if you want a situation to work in a positive direction you need to be grateful for all the positive aspects of that situation so that you can attract back that more positivity all right and with the tower card i also see that you will be revealed to something more right now you guys are not speaking or you're speaking really less but you will get to know more about this person's business i also see this person is hooking up or you know dealing with multiple bitches but you kind of stand out to them in some way so yeah like like you both started off really casually this person still is in that casual energy and this person kind of you know um is involved elsewhere but then you are somehow special to them you know that's what the six of one is like this person go they might do whatever but when it comes to commitment or whatever they think about you some of you this person thinks you are done with their bs and you are moving on they think you you've gotten over them but they haven't gotten over you nine of ones i see that you guys will be having some good times ahead in in april probably so some more screwing some more you know good times the passion is going to be reignited between both of you right now you are in separation definitely you guys are not speaking i see you will be meeting each other again there is going to be this communication getting restored but you know things are going to be very passionate once again this connection is very very passion very sexual you know you are also wanting the commitment but this person is still trying to keep it very passion oriented calling in your soul mate some of you you are manifesting a relationship or maybe 
a communication from this person is coming in i also see somebody is going to apologize right now you both are not speaking and that is because of their inconsiderate behavior towards the, towards you i see this person is not only going to apologize but they are going to ask you to meet them you will be meeting each other very soon new love you also have somebody new coming in if you want and i see a heart to heart communication somebody is going to be very open to you they want to tell you things this person is very weird let me let me be very honest you are dealing with a psychopath actually give me a message why are you manifesting a psychopath i don't understand all right i love you yes and i talk to my friends about us their friends also know about you you might be having mutual friends this person talks to their i i told you right like this person might be screwing other people but you stand out to them and you are the one they introduce to their friends and family this person is looking for a commitment with you but this person they it's their nature to be very inconsistent you know like some people are they are born whores like what can you do this person is that will you please listen to me some of you you will not be you would not want to listen to this person because you think uh they waste your time so they want you to listen to them they have a confession to make so they want you to listen to them give me one more message to close the reading for gemini please we make a good couple <laughs> i'm telling you this is some soulmate twin flame shit going on here the lovers with the we make a good couple it's like no matter what you do no matter how much you go away from each other you always come back because you guys are destined to be together you know and there is this undeniable chemistry between both of you which kind of keeps you intact we are gemini dealing with another weird person let me be very honest with that <laughs> uh, all right gemini that was your reading hope this helps and resonate i hope you get something out of it and uh, i'll see you in your next uh, video if this resonated let me know in the comments and like share subscribe and yeah talk to you very very soon you guys take care bye